Hello everyone. So I recently presented at the Gordon Research Conference for Solid State Chemistry and I want to talk a little bit about what that was like since it was very different than a normal conference. And you know there's a couple of hundred of Gordon conferences uh, every year so of course things are going to differ conference to conference depending on who's organizing it etc. But I just wanted to go through some of the things that I thought were kind of refreshing. Starting with the environment for example. Uh, Gordon conferences tend to be in like more remote locations and so ours was at Colby Sawyer College in New Hampshire and this is a very common location for Gordon conferences I think they've had them there since like the 1940s or something um, so this was a, a beautiful campus but you know we stayed in a dorm room essentially and you know the dorm room was very basic so just like a basic bed uh, a, a normal fan <laughs> if you if you were cold and very poor Wi-Fi and you know the effect of the accommodation was really it kind of pushed you to not stick around the room at all whereas in other conferences you know you might have a nice hotel room or something and you might be more motivated to stay inside the room and like work on your presentation or something here i think there was like a big forcing function to be like there's i just don't want to be in this room uh i it was like being back in college or something and you know throughout the conference because of the location and the setting and everything you were kind of just running into the same 150 200 people uh over and over at the, the lecture halls or at the poster sessions or whatever and so again it was a really nice way to just be trapped essentially <laughs> with um, a group of people interested in solid state chemistry uh, and give you a very different sort of vibe than a typical conference where you might have you know thousands of attendees you don't see the same people over and over and so this was really it felt like you, you were all in like a university class together at, at this university uh, versus you know again this this larger more corporate setting one thing that I do wish was different about the environment was that I do wish we didn't have shared bathrooms. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit too old to be like sharing a bathroom with like four different other conference attendees who are also like mid to late stage in their career. And like, you know, there's like a sink to brush your teeth and like, a, you know, one shower and everything and everything is like shared. Uh, and also like there wasn't really many uh, toiletries and things provided. So you have to make sure you bring everything except for basically like a towel and soap uh, at, which they'll provide for you. Um, that brings me to the second point which is like the social culture and again this was it felt much more academic at the Gordon Research Conference. Uh, There's no like corporate sponsors as far as I know there were no like logos there were no like booths where people wanted you to buy the latest like vacuum pump <laughs> equipment or something like that. It felt very uh, very nerdy very kind of like academic. Uh, the dress code is also very informal so this also makes it feel more academic and then less like a corporate type culture. Uh, there's also much more engagement with the students as part of as part of the social culture so uh, in our Gordon conference the students got to ask questions first which is very different than a normal conference in a normal conference the session chair will normally pick the most famous people to ask the first questions and then if there's like time at the end maybe a student can ask a question overall there was just a lot more culture of students and professors and you know uh, later stage career people just interacting more so at poster sessions, at lunches, it was very, very common for uh, students to be talking to the professors and vice versa. Uh, so for example, lunch was all in one cafeteria. So whereas in like a normal conference, people would just kind of form their own groups of three or four, usually like professors with professors, students with students, and then just like go out to lunch. I mean, that can change too, but uh, that's like a normal thing at a conference. Uh, at the Gordon Research Conference, everybody was eating at the same cafeteria, and again, you're seeing the same 150, 200 people at the same time. And every meal, whether it was lunch or dinner, uh, you would just kind of sit at a different table, and it was very normal to sit with people that you didn't know, and uh, you know, just talk with a very diverse group of you know students, professors, uh, people at different stages of their careers, and talk both about the science as well as other things as well. Another nice thing about the culture at the Gordon Research Conference was that there were very few laptops out in the talks. Most people attended most of the talks, so it would be like standing room only in the lecture hall but only like 5% of people had their laptops out. And this is like in contrast to a normal conference where maybe like 30% or 50% of people have their laptops out during a talk. Now, one thing I do wish that the, the Gordon Research Conference did more in terms of the social culture, at least the one that I went to, was that 
there wasn't as much frontier or unpublished research. The Gordon Research Conference, I think, is supposed to be more about like frontier research, unpublished research, but we didn't get a ton of that in our Gordon Conference. There was a session on emerging topics that had like a new thread about ultramagnet materials, but other than that, it, it felt um, generally polished presentations rather than rough and new things. Okay, so the third thing that was different about the Gordon Research Conference was the program design. So at a normal conference, you might have many like parallel symposia and you're like running from place to place and you don't see the same people over and over again because there are different, you know, sessions and things like that. Um, so here there was just one main track. And so if you're going to a talk, everyone is going to the same talk. And the schedule was designed to really encourage more participation. So every talk had about 10 to 15 minutes of question period afterwards. And again, in a normal conference, the schedule is so tight that there's often only time for one question or two questions or something after the talk. Here, there felt like there was plenty of room for people to engage and ask questions after the talk. The other nice thing about the program design is that they really designed the program in a way to prevent burnout. So there's typically just two talks in every session, which is different than a normal conference, which might have like four or five talks in one session. And then there would be something like a coffee break or a poster session or lunch or free time or something after each of these sets of two talks. And so it really helped prevent burnout because you never got to just like have too many talks in a row where you just couldn't even think anymore. There's also this free time period in the middle. So the Gordon Conference, the program design is that it runs from morning to night, like to like 9 p.m. or sometimes 9.30 or later at night. Uh, and in the middle, there's a free time period. So instead of the free time being the evening, the free time's in the afternoon. And during the afternoon, they plan lots of activities like hikes and museum visits and even like dance classes and things like that. The other thing is that the coffee breaks are longer in the program design. So again, a normal conference might have like 15 minute coffee breaks. And if your session runs late, then like you get like five minutes of coffee break. Uh, here, there were like 30 minute coffee breaks, which again, gave enough time to actually talk to people during the coffee break versus just like quickly catch up and then make yourself to the next session. And the entire day had like either six or seven talks throughout the entire day. So even though it ran from morning to night, because there were so many little breaks and so many other little things going on in Q&A sessions and everything, uh, you only were watching like six or seven talks in a day, which is much more feasible than like a normal conference where you might try to attend like you know 15 talks in a single day and try to keep it all in your brain the other thing about the program design is that the talks tend to be pretty uh tend to be by pretty more senior people and that that are have more polished talks and so the the general quality of the talks i think were higher than they would be at a normal conference and the Gordon Research Conferences do have like a separate Gordon Research Seminars that are more intended for graduate students and early career researchers. And that's usually like tacked on to the, the beginning of the conference. There was lots of poster session time though to interact with uh, people that didn't have one of the invited talks. So, uh, you know, you did have plenty of chance to talk to people about other research and to talk to students and postdocs and people, uh, actually also it's like senior people who just didn't have a talk but had a poster. Now, even though the official program ended at like 9.30 or something, the program would often go, or the, the events would continue into the night lots of times. And, you know, I often think back to my hotel room to like 12.30 uh, in, at night. Uh, because, you know, even after the last talk, people tend to go to the poster session, they get drinks, uh, there's drinks served after the poster session. And there's lots of um, informal kind of events. So for example, one of the nights there was an event about what it's like to have a job as a professor. Uh, and then another night that I participated in, there was an a informal panel about uh, what it's like to have a job at a national lab. So we just found some sofas around the poster session room uh, and a couple of us just sat down and you know people came in and were uh, just asking us whatever they wanted to ask us about working at a national lab. It was all very informal. The whole thing was organized like a day or two before we actually did the thing. The one thing that I might change about the program design is that the invited talks were 40 minutes long and you know it's for me, 40 minute talks tend to be a little bit too long. Something like 30 or 35 minutes tends to be the sweet spot, I think, in terms of, you know, length of talk. Nevertheless, it is enough time to like go into detail if you want to or whatever. So a program design, I think, was actually pretty spot on overall. So that's my thoughts on the Gordon Research Conference. I do think more scientific conferences should be like this because you tend to meet people uh, much, much more easily at the Gordon Research Conference. There's like a lot less burnout in terms of just going to endless talk after talk after talk. 
And there is something like special about attending talks at night uh, in like a remote location uh, surrounded by the same people that you've been seeing for a couple of days or something like that. It feels more like a shared experience and less like, I don't know, checking boxes of different talks that you were like running back and forth between. Um, so hopefully you have a chance to go to a Gordon Research Conference in the future. If you do, remember to bring like toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner, maybe some shower slippers or something, if your conference is not at a hotel and it's at a, uh, a university like Colby Sawyer. Um, with that, I'll end this video and hope to see you in the next one.